Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty nervous about this one. It is absolutely honking, blowing dogs off chains. Hopefully, this is gonna go all right. Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And today, I'm going out 16 sailing with the one, the only, one shoe fill. It is absolutely blowing dogs off chains. We shouldn't really be going out there, but we're going to, and we're gonna see how we tackle this strong wind out there. Oh yes, we are. All right, wish us luck in the comments below. Thank you. Okay, I've got the boat. Okay, so we're gonna look at how we're gonna get the boat for a burning lap in this wind. It's got to be in excess of 30 knots. I've already set the trapeze wires, set them a little bit shorter than normal. What that's going to help with is just making it easier. The thing is, when it's so strong, you can also get pretty big holes, which means it's very easy to get washed off the back of the boat. So having a slightly shorter trapeze is helpful. Right. Okay. So first thing we need to do um, is we need to get a lot of downhaul on. So Phil, if um, I'll turn up towards the wind a bit. Yeah, this is definitely the most wind sailed in for a long time. Is that enough downhaul, Phil? That's the question. More downhaul is good. So go down into the middle of the boat so you can pull it more straight. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and before you knew it, we were off. Okay, if you could take this with your backhand. Yeah. All right, watch the puck with the, the rope there. Can you just flick it off? You see it's caught on the GPS. Yeah. You might have to go in, sort it out. Yeah. Okay, it's all right. Okay, it is definitely as windy as advertised. We're on a kind of close reach here. Come back a bit. Offshore gust puts us on a more downwind point of sail. Oh my flipping word. This is flipping honking. 21 and a half knots already on the Timex. Um, yeah, a little bit looser on the jib if you could. Yeah, a bit looser on the jib. That's it, really flick it, have it a bit looser, generally. All right, you might have to go back into the boat yeah. and uh, let off the Windward Jib Traveller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the jib that's pulling us over. We've got such a lot of power. So the red one on this side, Phil, that's it. That should give you enough slack, all right. We've got a windsurfer in the water, so we are having to bear off slightly. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is so windy. All right, you good, Phil? Yeah, all good. All right. If you could take this. Yeah. If I say release, just let go of it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. That seems pretty quick. The proof will come along later. That's just under 22 knots on the, on the Timex. Oh, and we've lost a rudder. Okay, let's go into the boat. Yeah. Woo! Crikey, this is as windy as uh, you'd ever want it. It's probably more than 30 knots, 
So let the jib right off and we're just going to sail beyond these wind surfers fairly slowly if we can. So this is a good one. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't hook in just in case we need to eject. The yeah, jib off looser and um, just come back towards me a bit. So we've got the traveller most of the way out. Um, in fact, that's as far as we'd ever want to have it out. We've got the jib just flapping a bit. We're up by the hill, so in the lulls, it's not so windy, but in the gusts, like we're about to get, this could really send the bows down into Davy Jones's locker. Oh yes, it could. So Phil is hanging off the back, sort of like his uh, dry hair, depends on it. And we're just getting beyond the wind surfers before we crank it up for the next time. This really is have a go hero stuff. Oh my word, there's a big gust there. 20 knots sitting in. That's pretty quick. Just fighting against the bows. If the bows go down now, because we're already really deep, I'm just heading up a bit, which is going to transfer that pitching force into more of a healing force. And uh, yeah, we seem to has survived that little gust a bit. All right. God, this is absolutely brutal, um, this wind. If it doesn't look windy on the tape, come out here and have a go. <laughs> All right, are we gonna give it a go, Phil? All right, let's leave the jib almost where it is. Just make sure you've got enough slack, enough jib sheet to hold it without having to pull it in. All right, so we're out on the trapeze. I'm getting right into the back, into that pocket at the back. Here you go, Phil, here's this grey bit of string for you. If you just remain anchored at the back and the gust coming, And here we go. Big gust coming. So making sure the main sheet is tight going into the gust. So I've got something to give. So when we get hit by the gust, it's like a shock absorber that's going to absorb the shock. How are you feeling, Phil? Yeah, all good. All good. One shoe, Phil, is all good. And he's still got two shoes. All right, juicy gust coming. I know it may look on the telemetry that it's not that windy, but believe me, it's as windy as it is. Here we go. We are stretching our legs here today. That's quick. That's quick. Oh yeah, that's quick. That's a good average as well. All right, and that will do for that run. So you go back on oh, to the boat. All right, eating a bit of the wet stuff there. Okay, I've done it. All right, just going to check the results on the Timex. Oh, I said it was quick. Phil thinks it was quick. The Timex, which has been running pretty slow, says 25.6, 25.5 on the puck. That means, that's the average over 10 seconds. That means this might be the all-time record for Vasiliki Bay. I'll take it, you put it back to, yeah, back on. All right. So, you may be wondering how we're gonna turn this thing around. Should we go for a jibe? I think it would be, on this occasion, foolhardy to go for a jibe. So, in fact, we're going for a jibe, Phil. Yeah, have loads of slack on the jib. Oh gosh, there's a bit more slack. Yeah, so it's flapping a bit. We'll just ride this gust out. So what we need to do is bring the boat up to speed. In fact, here we are, we're up to speed. Ready, watch your head. Do the jib afterwards. Okay, and we made it through. That was pretty nice. Oh, hold on. Okay, well done. Whew. 
Watch the ropes around the uh, GPS. Keep a tidy ship, please, Phil. The ship is a bloody mess. All right, I'm going to head up so we can sort out this mess. Because when it's as windy as this, or even when it's not, any mess, like the sort of mess that we're running on this boat at the moment, can get you in trouble. Hope you're enjoying the ride, by the way, out there in Joyrider TV land. Don't forget to hit the like button. All right, so for the next leg, so Phil's got maximum jib sheet. We're having the jib traveller off on the windward side. See if I can crack, no, that's all. Phil has done a good job pulling that on. All right, so I'm coming back to the, do you want to go in front? I'll go behind, got the stick. All right, we are about to smoke some cabbage on this next leg. So the fastest bit is going to be the immediate bit because the water is the flattest. Hold on, Phil. Just going to let the traveller out a bit more first. Because what we're looking for is a tight main sheet. Whenever we can, that's going to mean we have to play less sheet and we'll stay in more control. Okay, I'm moving out. You can move out too. Going straight to the back for security. All right, jib off a bit. All right, grab the traveller line. It's just around my leg. Okay. And off we go. Nice gust coming. I'm uncleating every time the main sheet cleats to make it easy to dump. All right, it's gone a little... Big, big hole coming up, brace for the big hole. So I brace by straightening the back leg, bending the front leg, because we know we're going to get pushed backwards by the water as that hole engages the buttocks. All right, buttocks engaged, ready for the next pacey bit. So we're not, I don't feel I do feel. All right, that's good to know. All right, whoa, big gust. All right, big, bigger gust coming. Sheeting in ready. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Crikey, we are cooking the goose. Once again on Joyrider TV. Hit the like button if you like it. More wind. This goose is getting cooked, bit of a hole. All right, massive gust up ahead. All right, we'll see what we can do with it. All right, stay tuned, find out what we can do with this massive gust. Sheeting in a bit. All right, bit of a hole, getting ready. By the way, the steering today is being supplied by Melchesky Composite. We're using the Melchesky Pro Joyrider fixed length Hobie 16 murder weapon. That's quite a good name. Uh, that, uh, that would sell many units there, Martin. Um, one shoe fills traction. There's two shoes, zero shoes, Colorados. You can't even get these bad boys anymore. Maybe you can, but. Uh, Check out the link below. Woohoo! Oh. oh my days. So windy. I can't believe there's another two boats out here. All right, can you pull the traveller in a bit on the main? Okay. All right, watch, watch out for the lull. All right, one of those 16s has just gone for a, a swim. Oh, just got a bit of rudder stall there. Oh, oh. All right, 
Okay, you can see the bit more traveller in. I'll pull it at the same time as you. Three, two, one, pull. Okay, we're doing a combined pull there. And we'll go forwards a little bit. Nice. Okay, so there we go. We, well, let's not jinx it by saying we've already done it, but uh, that was your burning lap. Now all that is left is to see how we're going to park this bad boy. So what we're going to do is uh, come in from the trapeze reasonably early. Reasonably. Okay, you can go forwards a little bit more. Okay, whoa, big gust. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back onto the boat there. You can go in first fill. Let the jib in. Let the jib off once you're in. Okay. Alright, I'm in as well. Okay. And in fact, on this particular boat, I would usually let the downhaul off, but because of the position of the opening in the mast track. I'm going to leave the downhaul on until we get a bit closer because when the gooseneck isn't engaged in the mast track you could damage the sail. So when we get to the six the, the moorings, let the downhaul off completely. Maybe pull the rope out of the pocket for the downhaul. Oh my days. Uh, that was flipping hardcore. Alright, let the downhaul off now. And we're going to go round the back of the other boat just to be very sensible about things. All right, at this stage in the game, I think it still time to press the button on the puck. Twenty-five point five on the puck. Oh. Okay, so there we go. The secret there with parking the boat, I'll get on the 360 for this little gambit. So the trick there with parking the boat was to make sure the jib and the downhaul were loose before we got to the beach. That meant that when we turned the boat into the wind and we let the main sheet off, there's nothing holding the power. Yes, I did snag the main halyard off another boat uh, as we came in, but quickly sorted that out with a quick shove of the foot. Thank you very much.